Our top focus at this hour, Ukraine continues its counter-offensive against Russia. After reeling under Russian strikes for almost seven months, Ukraine is now fighting back to regain its territory. The war-torn country has now claimed that it has taken back 6,000 square kilometer area, which was captured by Moscow after the war began in the month of February. With the first numbers of February, and to today, our fighting forces have freed more than 6,000 square kilometers of the territory of Ukraine, on the south and on the south. The movement of our forces continues. Ukrainian forces claimed that they have retaken about 500 square kilometer of the region in the southern part of the country in the past two weeks. That includes at least five settlements in Kherson region. Але тим не менш ми можемо вже говорити сьогодні, що наші успіхи протягом останніх двох тижнів досить переконливі. Ми просунулись на різних ділянках від чотирьох до кілька десятків кілометрів. Now, as Ukraine continues its counter-offensive, the country's president, Vladimir Zelensky, has called on the West to speed up deliveries of weapons to control over territories seized back from Russia. Washington and its allies have provided Ukraine with billions of dollars in weapons that Kiev says have helped the country against Russia. Now, backing Ukraine's countercharge, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Monday that Ukrainian forces have made significant progress. He then called out Russia for using its forces indiscriminately against civilians and civil infrastructure. What they have done has uh, been very methodically planned out. Uh, and, of course, it's uh, benefited from significant support from the United States and many other countries uh, in terms of making sure that Ukraine has in its hands the uh, equipment it needs uh, to um, prosecute this, this counteroffensive. Meanwhile, Russia, on the other hand, continues to remain defiant. Kremlin has said that Russia will achieve the goal of its special military operation in Ukraine and ruled out peace talks with Ukraine. The statement marks the first reaction from the Kremlin to a lightning Ukrainian counteroffensive. However, when asked about ordering a general mobilization in response to Ukraine's charge, Kremlin spokesperson referred the question to the defense ministry. So far, Putin has not resorted to mobilizing Russia's reserves who number around 2 million men with military service within the past five years.